Hello, how you doing today? My name is Davion Baker and I am the Office of Black Student Success Coordinator and I'm also part of the EOP family. And I want to be the first to welcome you to the 2018 Spring Semester Academic Advising Session for second year students. Look, we got a lot of great information that we got to talk about today. But before we do that, we want to congratulate our second year students because you have just hit the 50% mark. So give yourselves a round of applause. So without further ado, make sure you're taking great notes because there will be a quiz at the end of this video. So let's get the show on the road because I don't want to waste your time and I got a lot of great information to give you. Academic advisor session is starting in three, two, one. See you soon. Hello, how you guys doing today? My name is Davion Baker and welcome to your second year spring semester academic advising session over we have a lot of great information to go over today and i hope you guys are ready and you're paying attention because we will be giving a quiz so be sure you're taking good notes uh depending on whichever program you represent eop obss dream success center renaissance scholars by participating in this online academic advising session this will give you credit for your academic requirement or academic advising session requirement so without further ado let's jump into these slides so your graduation requirement some things a lot of stuff you probably have already heard before but again it's nothing wrong with getting a refresher as you know you need a minimum of 120 20 units to graduate uh, some of those units come from major requirements some of them come from electives some of them come from general education slash um as we know our 51 units or ge i should say uh you also need to complete your upper division writing requirement you can do that with taking a course a w course and getting to see her better or doing the upper division writing exam um you would want to contact tests in to see what how much that will cost and when do they offer that if you're thinking about doing a test route uh, you also want to get a 2.0 in all three areas. That's your major, your campus, and your cumulative. Uh, you want to have make sure your GPA is above a 2.0 in all three areas in order to be eligible to be able to graduate. Okay? How do you reach those 120, right? As we talked about a few seconds ago, your major. You want to complete your major, depending if you're a double major, right? Or minor, certificates, electives. Which you, where you can find this at is at your general catalog. You want to make sure you know your general catalog because a lot of that information is on your general catalog. This is give you the opportunity to do the research first, then come in and meet with an advisor or your major department or major advisor to go over the things you talk you learned in general catalog. General catalog have majors, they have double majors, they have um, I should say different majors that you can learn that you just in case you want a double major. They have all the minor we offer certificates electives uh, all those things uh, we have that here and it's a lot a lot of great opportunity to understand your general catalog so you want to make sure you looking into your general catalog to understand everything we have here at Fresno State because uh, you may want a double major you may want to get some certificates in specific areas uh, maybe you want to do criminology you have a lot of crim uh, certificates that you can take um, and courses you can take to get a quick certificate and then better yourself as a student it's all about competition as you know so you want to make sure you are the best student you can be um, in the classroom and outside the classroom as well to be a better candidate when it comes to applying for a job so some of the things we're going to be going over also is your degree progress report. What is a DPR? It's your degree progress report, as I just said it already. Sorry about that. Uh, it's a report that shows your progress to graduation, right? You want to make sure you know if you're on the right track to graduate. That's why you're here. You're here to meet friends, make connections, get connected, but also, most importantly, pass classes and graduate and get a career and live out your life and do the things that you set out to do. And if you don't know what you need to do, you can't get to where you want to go. So identifying um, 
it identifies all the courses that you need to complete, which is your major requirements, your general education requirements, and your degree requirements. And what this does, it will show you a step-by-step -step breakdown on classes you've completed, classes you still need to complete, classes you're in progress with, or, or classes that still or haven't been completed per se and it goes over your units how many units you have units earned units attempted and your gpa as well it's a great tool and if you need some assistance we're going to be going over some of the slides here going over the dpr but if you need further assistance on dpr training come in and come talk to one of your counselors to be able to assist you further so this is john doe right here and as you can see, you can see the things that they have. They have uh, your student ID number, your graduation uh, date is unknown because we don't know yet. But they have all your classes. This student is a liberal studies major, right? So as you can see, those liberal study courses that he have to complete. Right now, it's going over his areas that he needs to complete. So going over line one, line two, the green arrows are the ones you complete. Red arrows, if you haven't complete, I believe that's blue. Blue, yes, that is blue. My, make sure my colors are right. But that means in progress, and purple means you plan to take that in the following semester. Okay? So a lot of these classes that you register for next week uh, will be the classes that you plan on taking. So you may see those in purple or whatnot. Okay? And so let's move on to the next slide to go more in depth with it. As you can see, the general education, he's completed all of his general education courses. That's green. He's completed his B1, his B4, because that is green. It tells you the class, what grade, and so forth. And then you see the, the blue, which is an in progress. He's taken Bio 10 currently, and so he's in progress with that. If he passed that class, he will get the credit, and you will see the green, and that check mark will turn into a green. If you don't have a green, that means it's not completed. If it's red, or blue or purple that means it has not been completed yet and only way you would know if it's completed is if you have the whole thing as a green as you can see the difference between the general education as well uh your area a and area b as you see in area a he completed everything so for that area it's completed all green but for area b he didn't complete everything so it's still in progress because he still needs to pass one more class in order to get that area marked off as full completion so you want to make sure you understand your dpr much much fully and 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 you you know the ins and outs you know if you really taking care of your business i know it's straightforward but if you get confused or a little bit you know like i don't know what this means come in and talk to us we'll be able to help you uh and be able to assist you with that so where can you find your dpr uh your dpr is at your student portal it would be under your d, d, d <laughs> i can't talk it will be under your degree progress report or uh, self-service You'll click on that, type in your student ID, and it will bring pop up your DPR. Uh, there may be some functions that you may have, may not know how to access, so you can definitely come in and talk to one of your EOP counselors or advisors to learn how to access that information so we can help you understand it much, much fully. So going over some terms and policies that you may want to know uh, and you need to know as a student on this campus. So, without further ado, undeclare policy. Now, raise your hand if you're undeclared. As you know, I can't see you, so I won't know if you're undeclared or not. But I just wanted to do that to see if you was paying attention. Um, so, undeclared students, we understand. You come into school. I know it's your second year, but you still may not know what you want to do. As you get closer and closer to your third year, it's time to start identifying some majors that we want to go into. Because if we don't, the university will put some strengths and reholds on our account. And we do not want that. So the university gives us to 60 units. As we know, this is our second year. We're getting closer and closer to completing our 60 units. So if we do not have a major at 60 units, the university will place a hole and we must declare a major in order to get the hole removed. And we won't be able to register if we do not have a major after those 60 units. So it's good to identify some opportunities or some major opportunities that you wanna look into 
and I, we get it we get it we understand you know life happens you may not know what you want to do but that's why we're here we're here to help you identify things you need to do in order to be successful and get you connected to the plot right resources to find the major you want to go into so again be sure to meet with your counselor or your major advisor to get additional support so there is a change in major policy uh and if you don't know i I, just step back if i if i didn't go over some of the things you can go over to help you declare a major again is the career development center they have surveys assessments coming to talk to us also looking at your student catalog and so forth those are uh, volunteer work internships uh getting hands-on experience uh and then just doing some research you know doing some research what do you really like what are you passionate about what do you really want to see you where you can you see yourself doing it and then actually enjoying what you're doing uh is it about the money is it about the location those things matter and so you want to make sure you have a like a somewhat of an idea of what you want to do and what are you trying to do so you can identify the right major for you now changing your major policy so if you change your major must be approved by a new department slash option if the student has 90 or more units earned you must be able to complete that major within 144 units if you cannot do that you will not be able to change your major so this is critical and this is key don't wait to the last minute to think about changing your major if you do have a major go and try to get that done as soon as possible now if you don't have a major then and you get a major but then you don't like that major then you want to make sure you kind of know exactly what major you want to get into because again we don't want you doing something you really don't want to do because it's not going to keep you focused and it's not going to keep you can you know persistent uh towards your graduation and, and towards getting a career because if you're not enjoying what you're doing you, you lose interest and you lose focus okay so again come talk to us we're here to help i say that i'm going to say that throughout the presentation just so you know that we're here to help you you're not in this by yourself you don't have to do everything alone come in and talk to an eop counselor or your program advisor to get additional support on these concerns or issues that you may have grade substitution and repetition or re- repeating of a course students can repeat up to 28 units of undergraduate coursework at Fresno State. We can only repeat these Fs, Ws, and Ics, or incompletes, I should say. You get 16 grade substitution courses. This is when you get an F and you get an A and it substitutes the grade out. And then you get 12 units of average. This is when if you get an F and you get uh, another D and then you get an A, the average to three grades out, okay? so. The thing is, we do not want you to fail classes, but we understand things do happen. So, and the university understand things happen. So they put these things in place to make sure that we can give you chances to better your grades and improve. You know, we don't want to keep you here. We want to eventually get you to graduate, right? So going more in depth on grade substitution, um, this is, like I said, your new grade will replace your original grade. Courses taken and failed at Fresno State. This is critical hope you're paying attention must be retaken here at fresno state for a grade substitution thoroughly grade substitution are automatically posted at the end of the semester you do not need paperwork you just retake the class but if you do have to retake a class a third time you want to make sure that you get your third attempt form signed and um completed before register for a class because it won't let you register for that class you'll have to do a paperwork and they'll have to submit it through admissions to allow you to register but come talk to us if you're taking a class for the second time and you're not doing as well as you like come talk to us don't try to do everything on your own come get help come get the support you need because that's what we're here to do to support you we want to make sure you're doing well we know you can do well that's why you're here so we want to continue to help you do well so make sure you coming in to talk to us about these policies and procedures and if you have any issues outside or inside the classroom now for our eop students specifically this pertains to you for everybody else this is pretty much just um information just to know uh for our third year you're moving into your third year first we want to congratulate you from moving into your third year but also moving in your third year means you're moving into a new 
count you're going to have a new counselor or eop counselor that you work with so depending on where your last name falls if you a through f you have dennis padilla you if you g through l you have angelica if you have m through r you have lupe and last but not least if you s through v you have wayne uh, or wayne bird i should say uh, these will be your new eop counselors okay you will no longer be assigned to a peer mentor it's almost like a way we're taking the training wheels off and we're letting you ride your bike when you ride on your own a little bit uh, we we got you ready got you prepared as much as we can to help you be successful but that doesn't mean that you can't come always talk to us and get the help you need and that is for our eop students for our obs as students we're still going to be here things still apply as follow uh so uh, definitely make sure you you know you're coming in to talk to us as well and for other programs renaissance scholars and dream success center make sure you're talking to your program advisors uh about your program requirements and things like that so again why the change we get it you know we wanted you a first or second year council that we focused on adjusting the college understand that GE assists you with decisions and making a career choice or a major choice, monitoring your academic progress. The new counselor is, is to give you that fresh air, that new car feel, right? It's something different. It's to help you progress through your graduation. It's the internships, career preparation, the graduate school information and preparation. It's just to, you know, get your focus on, you know, getting out of here, right? And you can always come and talk to us, regardless if you have a new counselor or not. You can always come talk to us and see how, how you're doing and see how we're doing, per se. Um, but again, it's a way to take off those training wheels and let you become your own adults um, and do some things on your own, you know, because we've geared you. We got you to the right place. It's your second year. You're farther than a lot of students ever make it. Some people don't get past their first semester a lot of people don't get past their second year and you're still here and you're moving on to your third year so give yourself a round of applause for that because that is a great accomplishment you did a lot of things that a lot of people haven't been able to do so definitely be proud of yourself because we are definitely proud of you your third year expectations right you have new expectations this is for our eop students uh alone again every program have different program requirements so you have a one counselor meeting, attend one academic workshop, review a degree progress report, which is your DPR we just talked about earlier, meet with your counselor, uh, and meet with your major department advisor, right? This is where you pretty much have your major, you're getting things in order, you know exactly what you need to take to prepare you for eventually graduating, getting to that ceremony, inviting your family and things like that. So you're, you're almost there, it's you're, you're at the 50% 50, 50 mark, you're right there. You're getting into your third year, so definitely it's getting it into gear. And your fourth year expectations is the same, somewhat the same as your third, but this is where you get down to the nitty gritty. You have your senior checklist, you have things you need to do, things you need to take care of, things you need to make sure are completed in order to be able to graduate and celebrate all your hard work and all those times. I'm telling you, keep walking across that stage and getting a degree and getting your diploma is one of the greatest moments of your life you don't want to miss out on that opportunity so again if you want to ensure your chances of graduation come get the support you need making sure you do the things on your end and taking care of your business things to consider starting your third year learn how to read your degree progress report understand that inside and out because that is your tool to graduation that is one of your tools to help you make sure you're on the right track to graduation so making sure you understand that is critical know how many units you have left for your major and your ge courses and that where you can find that in your degree progress report right you can know those things by accessing it uh taking the w course you need to take your w course you can take it after 60 units but do it before 90 units try to get it done as soon as possible so that's gonna be one of the least of your worries um and you can access those w units uh or w courses on your general catalog look under upper division writing requirements and it should have um a section of all the w courses we have 
Depending on your major, you may have a required W course, so be sure to check with your major advisor to identify if you do or do not. Uh, if you don't, then you can take any one of those W courses on there as followed. Uh, meet with your major advisor, connect with your new counselor for our EOP students only. Uh, and again, you don't have a peer mentor. And, so, and that is those two are partic particularly for EOP students only for your other program requirements. Make sure you follow your program requirements as follow. Now reflection, let's take take a moment to think about what are the most the things you're most proud of, right? What are you proud of? You know, are you proud that you made it past your second year? Are you proud that you're going into your third? Are you proud that you're getting closer and closer to graduating? Like, think about some of the things that you're proud of, you know, because when you identify those things that keep you motivated to progress and continue to persist towards your graduation, right? What were your challenges? You know, how did you overcome them? How did you overcome these challenges? What did you do? If you wasn't doing well in the class, did you go to tutoring? Did you get the support you need? Did you come and talk to us? Like, what were some of the things that you did to help you do well, right? And then what do you hope to accomplish in the next few years? Like, what is your next goal? Where's your next step? You always should be thinking about your next steps and your, your next move. Don't always get caught up in the moment. Think about where you're going next because we're always changing. We're always progressing to become better people and better students. So you want to make sure you know your next moves, your next steps, right? And then, most importantly, your accomplishment, right? You came to four counselor meetings. You had eight peer mentor meetings, right? Eight workshops. Uh, you completed four academic advisor sessions. You did solid understanding of general education or the GE pattern. Uh, you're halfway, 50%. Y'all, you're 50% closer to graduating. So definitely be proud of that accomplishment because we are definitely proud of you and accomplishing that 50%, you know. Now let's get that next 50. We did two years. Let's keep it going. Let's not quit. Let's not give up. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep working towards that degree, right? And then last but not least, the end of the year we want to celebrate you we know you've been busting your butt we know you've been working hard we know we understand being a student is not easy it's very challenging very difficult but you're doing it and you're doing a great job at it and for those who may not be doing a great job at it or not doing as well as you like come in talk to us come 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 get the support you need but to celebrate you guys wednesday may 2nd two to four in the ag each line next to the satellite student union we will be doing our eop end of the year celebration we have food prizes games everything just to say we appreciate you we value you we thank you for all their hard work without you there's no us and we definitely want to say that and show you our gratitude by doing something special just for you so we hope that you can make it we hope to see you there and if you have any questions y'all know what to do Joel224, come talk to us, schedule an appointment, come get the support you need. We're here to help you. Now, this is going to wrap up our EOP second semester academic advising session. This will give you credit by staying to the end. Make sure you pass that quiz. Take care of that quiz because if you do not take care of the quiz, you won't be able to get credit for your academic advising session. So I hope you have a good day. Live life stress less and you know continue to impress we love you we have a wonderful time on your picking classes and if you need some support come to talk to us all right we see you later have a good one bye bye welcome back was that a lot of great information or what <laughs> Man, I had a great time presenting that information to you. I hope you got a lot out of it. And remember, if you forget some things, come and talk to us. Joel224, we're here to help. Don't forget, May 2nd, 2 to 4, right next to the Satellite Student Union, we will be celebrating you. And this is our way to say thank you. Keep up the good work. I hope you have a wonderful day and good luck in the remaining of your semester. Always remember to live life, stress less, and no matter what, do your best. My name is Davion Baker. I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.